what are they going to do? Like, how are they going to manage this? I, I know they can go back to the well and they'll hit the race thing over and over and over again. And they will hit the, he's not stable. He's, you know, he's taken us back to the days of World War II. They're going to do that all day long. And so we're already getting evidence of this. James Comey, who's out pitching a book on all the networks, is saying, buy my book. And by the way, make sure that you don't vote for Trump because no matter what, you just can't vote for him because it's going to be the end of the United States of America if you do. I still, I'm like, wait a second, didn't we have four years of the guy? Did we actually end the country in that time? Let's take a look at Comey making an appearance over on CNN last night. A convicted felon. You predicted before the verdict came down as the jury was still deliberating, as the case was still being presented, that, that he could potentially be convicted. Do you believe it's likely that the judge will sentence him to jail in this situation? I don't know. I would ordinarily say it's unlikely in a white collar offense of this sort, but this is a defendant who's begging for a jail term by taking a flamethrower, not just to the judge, but to the entire process and the jury. A judge will take that very seriously into consideration in deciding whether to deter this person and to send a message more broadly. He needs to spend some time behind bars. You think Judge Marchand should take everything he said where, I mean, he, he has called Judge Marchand a tyrant. He likened him to the devil every day before he walked into that courtroom. He, he said he was corrupt, baselessly. Do you think the, the, the judge will take that into consideration when he does sentence him in a few weeks? I do, as well as him having to find that the defendant had acted in contempt of the court's orders on multiple occasions. All of that will be part of the picture that the judge looks at to decide whether a message needs to be sent that involves jail. As a former FBI director, what's it like to, to see one of the major nominees of, of one of our parties, the presumptive nominee at this point, be a convicted felon? If you put it in a novel, and I'm here because I just wrote a novel, your editor would strike it out and say, that's, that's just crazy, that would never happen. We're living in a really strange time. It must be a weird time to be a conspiracy theorist and flip on Fox News and you hear these people screaming at the attorney general about weaponizing. And the next story is about the department prosecuting the president's son, for heaven's sakes. So we live in a strange time, but it's one where people have to understand what's at stake. Don Okay, so now Fox News is filled with conspiracy theorists, according to James Comey. I mean, <laughs> again, I hate to point out the obvious here, but you want to talk election interference? I mean, Mr. Comey, I'm sorry, but you admitted that you had the goods on Hillary Clinton, but you couldn't move forward in terms of prosecuting her I do wonder how much Loretta Lynch and Bill Clinton and that little tarmac meeting that was just about the grandparents, right, had to do with uh, the grandkids, had to do with all of that. Anyway, Comey said, yep, she's guilty. She's guilty, but we're not moving forward with this. There, there's no way. Like, we're not going to, we're not going to actually, because that would actually be considered election interference. And we can't do that, right? Like, there's no election interference going on under my watch. Because <laughs> you see, they didn't like Donald Trump back then. I, I think we have the clip. Let's play it for you. Although there is evidence of potential violations of the statutes regarding the handling of classified information, our judgment is that no reasonable prosecutor would bring such a case. Mm, because it would be election interference. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, you get all kinds of election interference then because they've got 91 counts against the guy. I mean, amazing, 91 counts against the guy. And yet, what do you know? The largest police union in the country out there in Michigan, they endorsed him. It's like they, they can't stop this. The train has left the station. And so the only way they can stop him and stop the people supporting him is to actually make it illegal for him to, well, I mean, they, they can't, right? You, you have a constitution that actually would allow not just a convicted felon, but one that's actually in jail. Like if he's in jail, he can still run. Think about what's happened even since the guilty conviction, ladies and gentlemen. Think of the money that's poured in. 
a record. I just looked at a Bloomberg article, $141 million in the month of May. That's far blowing away anything that Joe Biden has ever raised. Even with his spiffy concert there at Radio City Music Hall, he couldn't come close to that, $141 million, more than 70 of which came from small mom and pop donors. And now a new tally is actually putting the, the total upwards of $200 million for the month of May. It's massive. And I just got a note from a friend who said they just sold out another huge, huge event actually on the West Coast. On the West Coast, where, where it's like $300,000 a ticket. I mean, unbelievable, right? So there's all this support that's coming forward, all this money from, by the way, Big Fish. You get like hedge fund billionaire Bill Ackman, who's now coming out in favor of Trump. And, and Little Fish, mom and pops that are doing 10 and 17 and $21 donations. So the train has left the station. So all they've got to go on is, well, you can't elect him because it's the end of the world. And clearly, judging by the YouGov poll, people don't think that. They don't think it's the end of the world, right? You wouldn't get numbers like that. I mean, look at the red or look at the purple. The purple is, yes, you should be allowed as a, as a felon. You should be allowed to be the president before Trump's conviction, they felt one way. And then woo, look at how that purple expands, meaning, yes, you should be the president as a convicted felon. And that's everyone. U.S. citizens, adult citizens, that's even Democrats, huge number of independents and massive increase in the number of Republicans. I mean, it shows you that whatever they're doing, it's just not working. And I think it's because of just the reality of what we're looking at. Again, you can't have inflation like this. I mean, this is going back to like 1970s Jimmy Carter style stuff. Jimmy Carter, who, by the way, started a lot of this, not my president, illegitimate president, way back when, when he told John Meacham at some event that he did not believe Donald Trump to be a legitimate president. I mean, think about that. They started it. Okay, they started it with talk like that. And he said, oh, it was because of the help of the Russians. No, no, no. That was all a bunch of baloney. And so Americans have gotten to the point where even though the headlines are flooding them with one thing, they're not buying it, they're not believing it because they know what's happened to their grocery bills, they know what's happened to their, their gas bills, and, and they're tired of it. You know, if you're somebody who's tired of it and you're trying to figure out what is your financial future, I get it, right? It's hard right now. I'm, I'm gonna tell you one thing that, you know, maybe doesn't feel so intuitive, but it's the reality in the, in an inflationary environment, you still want to be invested, right? You still want to be invested in the stock market and you want to be able to capture that inflation that's happening in the market. Otherwise it really does become a haves and have nots society. If you're not participating in that equity market, you don't have a chance to capitalize on that, that growth that's happening. Not to mention there is some good fundamental stuff going on. I mean, you look at the AI revolution that's happening and that is actually going to be a game changer. So you want to be invested in these things. That's why I encourage you to go to 76 Research, the financial research company I founded with a very long time dear friend who is a brilliant stock picker. He has spent more than 20 years on Wall Street as a fund manager. And so he's been working for the elites, right? Now you have the chance to access this research in a very affordable way. We just decided, you know what? We're going to do this in scale. We want to give the most opportunity, the most number of people. And so you're getting something that's incredibly precious for a very realistic amount of money. So I encourage you to look at this. It is our take on the economy, the markets right now. There are three different model portfolios there that you can sign up for. One is all growth, right? So American resilience, that's all about capturing that growth in the future. So it does look at the AI and the, and the changes that are happening in this economy right now. There's also an income builder. So if you're somebody who's like, wait a second, I need to figure out what I'm gonna be doing in five years because I wanna retire and I wanna make sure that I have income in that time when I'm retired, that I can live off my investments and you're going to want the income builder. And then there's also the inflation protected portfolio. So what are the inflation protected ideas that we have? All of this is here. Plus you should sign up for the 76 report, the 76 report, best 995 you're ever going to spend. <laughs> Let me tell you that's, it's so worth it because there's tons of ideas in there and we've got a lot of ideas. 
Rob's really the stock picker. You know me, I'm more macro, but it, it's, it's, it works, right? And, and you want to be consistently invested for the long term. It's just an important part of planning for your future and not letting these guys get away with it all. I mean, we can get mad, right? But let's get even. Let's make sure that we're invested and that we're thinking about ourselves and our families. So 76research.com, guys. It's really remarkable, just all that's happening. I, I don't know how they run them. I don't, I don't know how they run Joe Biden. Do you? I mean, tell me. Because if I'm a Democrat, I'm like, you know what? This guy has a real shot at losing. Real shot at losing. And this could be like Malay in Argentina, right? Where Malay came in and just swooping victory. I think it needs to be because otherwise you're going to be in legal H-E-L-L from here till Sunday and over again. So he needs to win big. And he can. That's the thing. He can. Every indication is that he can.